previously on Driftworks. <laughs> Point the camera at him. He loves having cameras pointed at his face. So what have we got in here, Dan? Lovely block. Oh, look at that. Nice, no, he's strong. He's a strong boy. Ooh, thank you. Look at that. New nudes. New. Ooh, Look at the shot. Look. Ooh. And? Is this really the most practical delivery van in the this world? Is the, it is, yeah. It's, it's the best. Well, it feels like the right thing to buy. Got more parts. Excellent. Ooh. Nice. Ah. Very nice. So what have we got here? To the layman. Uh, we have um, a decked and slightly overboard SR20 block, just standard. And then Dan's also got uh, four pistons and three conrods. Uh, the engine's pre previously run, and what did it do? Just did it run a bearing? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But pretty much just spun a bearing. Yeah, it spun spun a bearing in one of the conrods. So we need one new conrod, um, a new set of rings, a new set of bearings. And then um, Ross to put it all back together. Easy peasy. Yeah. Lemon squeezy. 20 minutes worth. Yeah. 20? Yes, like <laughs> hours or something. <laughs> put your ass away down. <laughs> so if I'm right, then we just get the drill and we just. Yeah, yeah. and then I've just got a big hammer and yeah. whack the pistons those, in. Those bits of wood just keep the yeah, head gasket just, in place. Sort of, they? You, chuck these, you, know, you chuck these in there like that. Yeah. And then you that creates the pressure. Yeah. And, this, and you can prime them with a little. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Excellent. Engine building. Engine one building. One. How hard can it be? Well, very. Uh, and you're on your phone. Just looking up the oil square to talk setting. It's the new block, so I'm just starting to put a few little bits and you know cleaning as I go along. Um, I've already primed the oil pump with Vaseline. Vaseline. Yes. So what, why have you taped uh, off those bits? Uh, basically, just to stop anything from getting in, and um, you know, any dust or anything like that. So I've cleaned everything meticulously. Go away. Got some cake, birthday girl. No. Have some cake. No. It's coming for you. So it's Mel's birthday. Cake cam. Cake cam. Cake cam. Oh dear. Show me what you're doing, Ross. I am doing nothing. Yeah, let's try this again. <laughs> so it's Mel's birthday in the office, therefore we have cake. Look at this. Bringing one out to Ross. Show me what we've done. We have done a few things with the S15. A few things. Yeah, well, we got the new block um, recently last week. So I started cleaning everything up and getting everything ready. Anywhere for the cake. Prime position. There we go. There we go, cake. Inserted into SR. Inserted into head. <laughs> Best place for cake. So, so what have we got here then? Um, I've emptied all the lifters. Yep. Cleaned them all out because they were full of swarf. And refilled them. Uh, I've also cleaned the head up and give it a good, a really good clean over. And started building the block back up. It's a cake! Have some cake. I'm good. I've had like two. That is my other question. Do we... Do you have some cake? I've had to. Do you need a hand or can I just stay here? No, you're, you, you just carry that really heavy It's fine. My elbow is hurting today from all the weight. Is it not, not the other thing? No. <laughs> Why are you moving it? Uh, we're just putting it on. Out of the way for a moment, we're waiting for some parts, so uh, we figured we'd get on to one of the other done projects whilst we've got, we've got about four days waiting for parts or something, haven't we? Yeah, basically. So, yeah, just a new, um, new Conrad and stuff for this, a new bearing. So, yeah, we decided to have a quick look at um, the fun and games with the Impala. Impala!
So, some S15 bits have arrived. Yay. Yay. What so have we got then? Talk me through. Uh, we have big end and mains bearings. You've got a big end. We have a big end. Um, ready for the rebuild, just a refresh. Some nice new thrush washers as well. Stop the crank moving about too much. Ooh. A new conrod. That's, that's manly. That's, it's very manly. And some new piston rings which will need a ring gapping, so a good few hours just to do that. And this is your cup of tea? This is my cup of tea. <clears throat> what are you doing at them? Uh, ring gapping, which is the most tedious, boring job in the world. Just making sure that this gap here, when it's in here, mm. is to spec. Plus at the moment they're too tight. And if it's not? If it's too tight, obviously when it expands, it can cause problems, and obviously we just don't want any problems. So everything is made perfect. And you have to do this for each one? Every ring in each cylinder. What happens if you do too much? Then you get um, blow down, so you'll end up getting um, combustion into the low half of the engine which will make it breathe and just early engine failure again. Joys of Nissans. The joys of Nissans. <coughs> What's that? That, it's a spaceship. Number one. Um, it's the, oh, we're upside down, aren't we? Yes, it's an S14 oil pickup. So we're upside down in the SR20. Uh, new manly pistons. So what are these? What uh, pistons man, are they? New manly rods, sorry. <laughs> ah, you know fail. Your stuff. <laughs> New manly rods with ARP fasteners all done up. New shells all the way around. ARP fasteners? ARP. ARP. Ah, ripper. Rip. Rip. Um, and I'm not sure what make the pistons are. I think the CP, maybe. CP wise cane? Yeah. One um, of them. Pardon? One of them, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's something. A brand of piston. It's a, a forged piston. Thank you for well, paying attention. Where's it? Where's the sump? It's behind you. Why is it in the bin? <laughs> <laughs> because I've been cleaning it up, and that's where SRs live in the bin. I've been cleaning the um, the gasket area up. And as if by magic, yeah, I got a little carried away. <laughs> I was only putting the head on. It's almost like you've done this before. Nah, never. Don't know nothing about okay, this one. So, yeah, I saw Ross about two hours ago and I've been in a meeting and all of a sudden <laughs> I've missed the opportunity to film him putting the SR back in. It's a rough and ready. Uh, we need to sort out a fan for this as well. Maybe we're going to um, put an electric fan on it now. Yep, and I'm going to make a cowling for uh, it. Okay, so we've got a Jag fan, I think, upstairs on the mezzo. Yeah, I don't like this. I really like it. Anyway. <laughs> 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 <Whoa! laughs> Craig. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> right, decent fan. Just show a lot of the people put like aftermarket fans on and little fans and they are genuinely quite rubbish. Yeah. If you look Turn the radio off for me, please. Yes. Otherwise we get sued by YouTube. <laughs> if you look at the size of cabling on on um, a lot of aftermarket fans, you can run them like, you know, little tiny cabling. If you look at the size that these run. Uh, so what this is this is the size that like the OE fans run because yeah, the yeah. size of the motor, yeah. and we have to use like relay with big terminal oh, just yes. purely to take the load, and then we install like a little little mega fuse, little forty amp fuse. So how confident are you with your job and future employment at Driftworks? Well, he told me this was sealed, but it didn't look very sealed to me. <laughs> I asked Craig, to be fair, and he said that's fine. Craig Taylor, the master of SRs? Taylor. The Craig Taylor, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to give it a go? No. No. <laughs> that confident. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I'll lose well, my job. I, I, actually, yeah. <laughs> I think you should have the honours anyway because uh, you know I've pretty much not touched it. You've done it all yourself, haven't you? Yeah, you did. Me and Dan did it the last time. Go. Go to me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because of the gear
get the BMW gearbox in it. It makes an, a noise that's a little bit like um, bottom end rattle that goes away when you hit the clutch. Why are you watering your SR? To make it grow to V8. <clears throat> What's your opinion on SRs? Do you, why, why don't you like SRs? Uh, I don't know really. Just um, don't dislike them. Just I dislike the people that keep pushing them. <laughs> Rich. <laughs> Damn. Boom. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, just installed a new fan set up. Still widening, just neating and everything up there. Putting the last brakes back on. Mega fan. Mega fan! We've got to go run the engine, the car in yeah. now with the new engine setup. Yeah, well, you know, we've done a little bit of running. I'm going to take it to. Uh, Close track, um, close by. Birmingham wheels for those yes. that know Birmingham us by wheels. now. Um, next couple of days, and Phil's just going to do some laps in that, non drifting laps, just running in laps, get some mileage on it, and I'll change the oil before rocking them. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like pretend like I'm using the force to move this. My McCann DTS has an erection. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought of towing in this, son. <laughs> Putting your hand out of the car again. <laughs> That's how I've got to make it look like I'm doing Regardless something. Just hand on things. right now is the world's most boring drive of an S15. Basically we're just running the engine in so uh, it's going to be yeah, really really dull. So we'll fast forward this bit. Everybody. Hi, Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Did you know there's more to Driftworks than just messing around with cool cars? Oh. Over the last 12 years, we've led the way in the aftermarket parts industry. Oh. We have hundreds of coilovers in stock in a wide range of brands for a huge number of applications. Everything from your BMW and your Ford yeah. all the way to your Nissan and Toyota. Also, we are the world's leading expert on wheel fitment. We ship tens of thousands of wheels every year to customers all over the globe. So you can buy in confidence from us. So for all of that and much, much more, check out our website, driftworks.com or find us on social media at Driftworks. Oh, I will.